how to create perfect Amazon PPC campaigns? I guess that is a good question to understand, but you should know that is the ongoing process. All things will be around the structure and all your steps in the case of the optimization and your main strategies inside your advertising accounts. Now I would like to share with you three main secrets that will help you to find out how to become a best sellers and how to work as the seven figures or nine figures. And you will have a chance to do that inside your account. So the first and the main thing that you should be focusing on is your semantic core. Of course, yes, you will start from that because you have your listings with a lot of product detail things. You have a lot of descriptions, a lot of bullets. You have a lot of info inside. Yeah, you could imagine that you have your own website and we have like the CEO part. Yeah, with the keywords inside, the keywords in backend, the same inside your organic listings and Amazon listings. We recommend you to go through this process in a case of checking your semantic core that you collect in for your PPC campaigns. You could do that with the help of different tools as like merchant words, the keywords, uh, the Google keyword tool or anything else, like any tool that will help you and they will show you some other search terms that people searching yeah, for your specific products inside this niche, inside the Google, inside the Amazon. For you, that is just the collecting the data. According to that, you will have a chance to like separate them in the case of the negatives, irrelevant traffic that you don't want to get and relevant traffic. According to this relevant traffic, you should create this structure of all needed things inside. Of course, that should be a pod campaigns, like the product attribute targeting campaigns that will be focusing on your listings as the defense, on your competitors listings as the attack campaigns. According to that, you will have a chance to understand how to work specifically, not only with the keywords, but also with the essence of your competitors or categories. After that, you should go into the process when you harvest new keywords, right? When you have some campaigns that just in the low beats will catch a new keywords and you will have a chance to add them into your semantic core. The next part is the main control thing that you have as like the main keywords that generate you the sales. According to the, these keywords, you will have a chance to control the trends, the lines, the competitors, because they are converting and provide you with the main sales traffic. The next and the second secret that I would recommend you, don't fight for the top of search, because when you are not ready, you will not get a good results. This is the step-by-step -step process. You will have some products and some keywords that you will have a chance to get started working with the top of search. Okay, you should control them campaign keyword, campaign keyword, or that could be a top performing keywords that you will have a chance around like five, 10 keywords in this campaign exactly. You will have a chance to control them specifically in top of search. What is the main idea when you start working with the placements? You should understand for what reason and what positions you would like to have, why you would like to have that. The answer here is the conversion rate. You should calculate on all placements and all ad placements your conversion rate specifically. Specifically in the case of the PPC, because it could be so, such different in the case of the organic results. The conversion rate for you, that is really important thing that you should understand, because if your organic conversion rate is not ready, your PPC performance will be also bad, not so good. The same for the CTR, the same for the PPC conversion rate all the things like the common, yeah? It's like all parts of one big process. According to your understanding, please do not just increase the beats or just increase the placements with the uh, percentage of like 100 or something like that. That is a not good steps. Be sure that you are ready for that. You could check this table inside the placements for some specific keywords and then increase for specifically one keyword and see what will happen. If everything is going well, you're getting like much better sales with lower echoes or the same echoes, but you see that you're converting much better. Okay, you could like continue going. But if we're speaking about other process, that will be not a good case and you will just burn a lot of money. And of course, you will, you will just destroy all your results inside the Amazon listings and inside your conversion rates. The last and the most important part, I guess, that is the analytics. Analytics and data that you should focus in for boosting all your products. You should compare your weekly to weekly, monthly to monthly radio between all these parts because the main idea is like, how are you performing in all these processes? How everything is going in the case of your organic results and PPC results? We should understand that we are competing with a 
a bunch of different players inside your specific niche. We are competing with the Amazon algorithms. We are competing with the sellers who has some ideas in the case of the external traffic, some promos, lightning deals, coupons, and all this stuff. We do not recommend you to go and just make some quick decisions like my ICOS is high, skyrocketing, I will just decrease the bids. No, that will be not a good idea. You should find the final problem why it's happening. Why it's like going so crazy? Why is your main keywords do not provide you with the sales. Maybe they lose some positions. Maybe you uh, have any problems with the your listings or ratings. That could be so. That's why. Go into and check your weekly to weekly results comparing them each week. The same for the months. After that, you should go into the reports. The reports will provide you with more specific data, with more specific analysis and According to them, you will have a chance to set up the main milestones that you would like to reach. For example, with the search term impression share report, you will have a chance to understand how many keywords you have ranked inside your listings. What about this week and previous one? Maybe the week it's not a very good period for you to track, but what about months? What about the quarter? What about the year? Are you growing in the case of the search term that you have already ranked or not? What about the positions? Are you increasing the number of uh, the same keywords? Because you could have a good pool, but this pool do not move in the case of the positions. You should work on that. Yeah, you should improve that with the help of the PPC results. The same is the brand analytics. The brand analytics will help you to compare you according to the, to the specific search terms and your competitors. Who just win this battle? Yeah, who just get all these positions? The same for the organic PPC crows. Because all your things, it's like, the main idea of the PPC, it's like to improve your PPC results. If you will not check that, unfortunately, you will not see the clear data and clear understanding. I would recommend you to go into the main process of what is the main idea of the PPC. You shouldn't just spend and you shouldn't see inside your Amazon account like the ad spent understanding. The main idea, if you have a good structure, if you have good vision and strategy, you will have in exactly way of investments. So turn your ad spend into the ad investments. That is the main structures that you could right now implement into your business. That is the ongoing process and I guess that is the routine tasks. And of course, we would be glad to answer all your questions. You could go into the comments below. You could click on the like if you like this video and you want to get more secrets. Of course, we have some more additional files that we would be glad to share. But what about your impact? We would be glad to share more secrets, more insights and data with you. What we will need from your side it just provided with the likes, comments and subscribe to our channel. So stay tuned.